All right, so even though we're in the middle of a collaboration right now with Avatar, we just got word of the next collaboration, which is another Star Wars one. So obviously around May the 4th, that's when we always have some big Star Wars events in Fortnite, and it's no different this year. But I'm actually a little surprised they announced it already. Today is just April 15th, and obviously the Star Wars event is going to be around May 4th. So a little early, but heck, I'm excited after what I saw today. So first off, the official Star Wars account on Twitter made this announcement. They said, we have a good feeling about this. Star Wars is returning to hashtag Fortnite. And then they put a 30 second little teaser trailer. It doesn't really show much. It's mostly words, but I'll play it for you here. I'm not sure if it's copyrighted, though. If it is, I'll put some other music on it. So here you go. So as you saw, this is a multi-announcement video. So first of all, we see the logo Fortnite and then Star Wars appear, and then all the other teasers come. So we've got Lego first, and then Festival, and then Battle Royale, and then we get a rift and it pulls the text back to us and it says Star Wars, find it in Fortnite 5324. So obviously May the 4th is the day after that, and that is a Saturday, but 53 is a Friday. So that's when it starts Friday, the 3rd of May, which is just right around the corner. But the fact that we're getting something in pretty much every game mode, that's crazy. I guess it didn't say Rocket Racing though, did it? But Festival, Lego, and Battle Royale. So Fortnite Festival themselves tweeted the exact same teaser trailer, and they said, we can hear that Cantina band from here. And then they put the date 5324. So I wonder what songs they're gonna bring to Fortnite Festival. They could bring a ton, including the Imperial March. Can you imagine playing that in Fortnite Festival? That would be so awesome. Or just the general Star Wars theme. But the best part about this so far that I don't see anyone talking about is that someone quote tweeted the original Star Wars tweet. So all he did was tweet an animated picture of Darth Vader giving a thumbs up. But it's who he is that matters. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. It looks like Felipe Tomasi. But if you look at his profile, it says senior game designer on Fortnite, designing battle passes and event passes. Now, obviously we've had many battle passes for Star Wars in the past with Darth Maul. So the fact that he commented anything gives us hope, and it might actually be a surefire thing that we're getting another mini battle pass. Why else would he, of all people, a person that works on battle passes and event passes, do that tweet if it wasn't foreshadowing that we're getting another mini battle pass. How amazing would that be? We just got the Avatar one, and then right around the corner, we're gonna get another one with Star Wars stuff in it? That's insane. So the data miner and leaker Fire Monkey put this tweet out, and he says, reminder that the Wookiee Bowcaster will be a new weapon. So that's some kind of crossbow, and it kind of hints that Chewbacca is coming. That's his weapon. So he might be in a mini battle pass if we get it. We're gonna get a general Leia style. I don't know if that's gonna be a brand new skin or a style. Now he also says there should be a rocket racing vehicle and map. But remember in the teaser, it didn't mention rocket racing at all. So I'm hoping that's true that it is there. But the fact that it wasn't in that little teaser trailer is a little concerning. And then he said Lego style will just be skin styles. So potentially those are two skins that could be in a mini battle pass, a general Leia as well as Chewbacca. And there's tons more characters they could release for Star Wars. And obviously lightsabers will be returning. They usually bring the mythics too, which are amazing. I love those. One in particular is my absolute favorite and it's the force push. That's the one where if someone's in your face, you do it and they go flying. You could push people into the storm and win easily. If you're about to die, you can use that and send them flying away. One of the best mythics I've ever used. So this all starts May 3rd, right around the corner. Like I said, it's a little early to announce all this, but hey, I'll take it. It gives us something to look forward to after the Avatar event ends, and especially if there's going to be yet another mini battle pass. So there you go. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for another Star Wars event. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.